And so people put a lot of eggs in this basket. I saw many of the cloud consulting firms out there had had 5G practices and they were selling that to the enterprise and dealing with 5G strategies. Here it comes. It's almost here. You know, it's going to change everything. And it really had some improvements, but it wasn't necessarily a revolution uh, in terms of features and functions. Better bandwidth, better security, as I mentioned. But it was worth some consideration and probably worth talking about in passing, but it wasn't something that people were building it up to be. And that turned out to be a bit of a flash in the pan. So I got that one right too. So the next was the metaverse um, uh, was ended up to be a hype nothing burger uh, for cloud computing. And obviously, you know, shortly after COVID, you know, suddenly uh, Meta and other companies announced the metaverse where, and I think they even changed their name to Meta, um, where we're all gonna live in these three-dimensional virtual reality worlds. Um, you know, even I got some uh, VR goggles in the mail that yet some company gave me, things like that. I never wore them and give me a headache. But I, I realized early on that that's nothing that was really going to take off. We'll do Zoom calls, but it doesn't make sense for us to sit in a virtual conference room uh, when we can, you know, do the same thing in other ways. So I didn't see a lot of uptake in that for many of the enterprises. So again, you look at the technology, you look at its attributes, it's obviously pretty cool technology. I'm sure people love using it, but as far as enterprises adopting it as something that's gonna be revolutionary for them, that never happened. And I think a lot of people made that prediction. You know, as I said a few years ago, um, you know, the metaverse called generative AI and they want their hype back because everything shifted over to generative AI and agentic AI at the time. 